Before, we have discussed what is a cursor, how it works, what is the batch size and what is the iterator size. But cursor has a bunch of other different methods that can be very helpful during read operations. So let's look at some of them. Before performing any operations with a cursor, you must assign the cursor to the variable. So recap that when you invoke find method, server will return you a cursor. And before, you have not assigned this cursor to any variable. In order to perform any actions with this cursor, you must create variable, in this example variable called cursor, and assign result of the find method to this variable. And after that, you can use, for example, next helper method that will iterate just one document. Not 20 documents, not 50 documents, just one document. And using next helper method, you can iterate through the whole cursor. Another useful method is has next. This method just returns true or false. If cursor has next document, this method will return true. If there are no more documents left, it will return false. There is another useful method called obj's left in batch. This method will return number of documents that are left in the cursor till the end of current batch. Let's look at all those methods in action, but before let's go to robust3t and examine all lists of helper methods that cursor has available for you. So just double click on cursor collection. It will immediately execute find operation or invoke find method. But you see that cursor is not assigned to the variable in this case. So let's assign cursor to the variable called cursor. So here it is. And just command enter execute this. You don't see any results for now because cursor was not yet iterated. Let's look at the list of helper methods that this cursor has. Just type cursor dot and here you see the list of all possible helper methods that cursor has. For example, there is a batch size helper method that we have used in previous lesson. So in this lesson we will use next helper method, then has next and obj's left in batch. So let's execute cursor next for example. So just cursor next and parentheses and command enter. And you see that cursor has iterated one document. Let's iterate one more document here. Execute it. Here is the result of the first cursor next method invocation. And here is the result of the second cursor next method. So let's switch to MongoDB native shell and continue operations there. So just copy this assignment. We will make same assignment there and switch to MongoDB shell. So create cursor variable here. Just enter. Nothing happened. We have just created a cursor variable. Then let's perform same operation cursor next and empty parentheses and execute it. And you see that we received first document in the cursor. Then next one, next document with index 2 and so on. Using next method, we just iterate cursor one document by one. The next helper method. Cursor has next. This method will answer the question do we have documents in the cursor or no? Has next enter and yes true we have documents in the cursor. Let's execute another command. Cursor obj's left in batch. This command will return number of documents 
left till the end of the batch. So let's execute it. So 97. Why 97? Because by default, batch size in MongoDB is 101 documents. In our case, we have executed find method and found all 100 documents that are located in cursor collection. And they were returned from the server just in one batch. We have iterated already three documents, one, two, three, and it means that 97 documents are left till the end of the current batch. Okay? Let's iterate a couple of documents more. Just cursor next, cursor next. And now execute command obj's left in batch. Now it is 95. We can simply invoke cursor without any helper methods. So just enter. In this case, we will get next 20 documents. 20 is the default iterator size in MongoDB native shell. And here we get documents from index 6 to index 25. And now OBJ is left in batch 75. OK, let's iterate this cursor till the end. So just cursor, 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 and cursor once more. Now cursor is exhausted. And let's ensure that it is exhausted using cursor has next helper method. And you see that it returns false. It means that there are no more documents left in this cursor. Let's try to execute cursor next now. Cursor.next, parenthesis, you see an error, has next false, and cursor next didn't return any document. OK, let's clear terminal and summarize. So you can use such methods as next to iterate one by one, has next to check if there are documents in the cursor, and obj is left in batch to look at the number of documents that are left till the end of the current batch. And you see that cursor is not just a usual object. It is an object with iteration capabilities. And those objects in JavaScript are called iterators. And there are another helper methods available for iterators, such as for each and to array. Let's look at those methods next. See you.